I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this video right now and saying something is just not quite right about what I'm looking at. And you're right. I straightened out that picture over my shoulder. It's been crooked for like three videos. I didn't notice it till my last one. Thank God I've got my brain working. All right, now back to today's video. What's it about? It's Attack of the Clones. No, not these clones. It's these clones. Those clones in the prequels wearing this thing, shooting the way they did, they were no joke. Much love, clones. Let's get on to today's video. Okay, seriously, this thing's gotta come off. All right, let's get down to business. So the whole purpose of this channel is finding cheaper alternatives to the premium brands, the premium names with the expensive price tags that really hurt your budget. Especially if you're just trying to start a podcast, you don't even know if you like it or not. You're not sure if you can do this in the long term, but you just want to try. You don't want to really fork over a bunch of dough to get started. And that's what this whole channel has been about. Cheaper alternative options that give you great audio, great build quality, and a great price. That's what we're all trying to find, the unicorn options out there. And one of the just greatest unicorns of all time is the Behringer XM8500, which is what I have inside this SM7B capsule right here. It was the first XLR mic that I bought. The one comment I kept getting was how great the audio was in our video. And I'm like, wow, I paid $20 for that microphone and I really wanted the $400 microphone. And yet I'm getting comments about the quality. So there are options out there for great quality that don't break the bank. And the Behringer XM8500, is well known for that great microphone and you can hear the sound right here you can judge for yourself i just got to thinking i have a friend of mine who has a 3d printer and he made me some blue ones because he knows i love blue and uh just amazing i love to put my handheld microphones in here and that way whenever i'm using my shore sm58 or a shore sm57 or the behringer 8500 I don't have to worry about that handheld look. I love the studio mic look in my live streams. And then if you really want to start upgrading it for that custom look, and I love custom, I love options, $30 shock mount, put on that. And then again, you get yourself a eight, $9 pop filter, SM7B replacement pop filter, put that on there and you are rocking and rolling with a really cool look, that stormtrooper-y look, Star Wars look, if that's what you're into. So anyways, okay, what are we talking about? After I did that video, people were commenting about all the mics they want to know what it sounds like inside this thing, handheld microphones. And one of the comments I got was, what about the Zremo, Zremo, Zimmer, Zimmer, Zimmerza? I don't know, the, the Zremo microphone. And I'm like, the Zremo, I've never heard of that. So I go on Amazon, I look it up. It's a $15 clone microphone of the Shure SM57. And so I went ahead, I was curious. It was like, I don't know, $11, $12 at the time. I got it with a coupon at the time, but I think it's normally about $15.90. But every now and then you can get it with a coupon on sale for like 11 bucks. So I ordered it and I pulled this thing out of the box. And as you can see, these things are identical. I mean. You want to talk about clones from like Star Wars. These clones, it is hard for me when I have them on my shelf to just walk up and grab one and think I've got the right one. I've got to pull it up close and look at the writing and make sure it's got the Shore insignia on there to make sure it's the 57. And on the other one, it says Waymike and it says WM57. So a cheaper option, $99 versus $15.90. How did this microphone at 1590 sound in one of these compared to the Shure SM57? The Shure SM57 inside this mod, by the way, amazing. Absolutely love it. I'm curious to see how this sounds compared to the Shure SM57. But wait, there's more. The Shure SM58 and the Waymike WM58, which is in this box, and I ordered it. So again, another clone, $15.90. And on the box, I laughed when I got this in the box. Legendary vocal microphone. I've never heard of Waymike until this whole thing happened. So legendary where? Who? What? Anyways, it's kind of like my fishing stories, my legendary catches. Then I noticed another microphone when I'm on Amazon. This guy right here, which is the Zremo 104. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, this is identical 
to the Neumann KM105. The Neumann KM105 is a $729 cardioid polar pattern condenser handheld microphone. And Neumann is the real deal for voiceovers. When you want to like go top tier, level one, voiceover work, professional work, Neumann, you can't beat them. I mean, some of their microphones are like $7,000. It's crazy. So this is a $15.99 clone of a $729 Neumann handheld microphone. I did not buy that microphone. I'm not going to spend $700 just to see how good this clone is. So we're just going to plug it in and just see if it sounds good. So that's what this video is about today. We are going to compare the Shure SM57 and 58 against these clones right here. Talking about clones, when I bought this box, it was supposed to be the Waymic WM58. When you open it up, it gets even more cloney. It is literally, it says right on it, the SM58. They make no attempts to hide it. They change the labeling on the microphone once it's out of the box from the WM58 to the SM58. And then to make things even crazier, just made me chuckle. It's called the Imp 600. It's what they have on it, Imp. IMP, and if you watch Star Wars Mandalorian, they call the stormtroopers imps. I can't even say it with a straight face. This is crazy. I'm just curious, how good can cheap mics be? And I'm talking the cheapest of the cheap, and not only that, the clones that are out there. Let's find out. Okay, so now on to the SM58 battle of the real deal versus the clones. I have them both in these capsules, the blue and the white. So we're starting off with the white one. This is what it sounds like. Processing, again, limiter on, low cut filter on, compression and de are on, same settings. My EQ is turned on, but I have not adjusted my high, mids and lows, just trying to help it put its best foot forward. So here you go. This is the white microphone, the SM58, or the WM58, a $99 microphone versus a $15 and 90 cent microphone. Let me know what you guys think. Well, moving on to the blue mic. Yes, we are. Okay, here we go. So now we are on the blue mic in the SM58 battle. Again, settings, low cut filter on, limiter on, compression de -er on. My EQ is turned on, but no adjustments to the high, mids, and lows, all in the defi default settings. The SM57, or eh, dang it, these letters, these letters driving me crazy. I'm losing my mind with all these letters and these mic reviews I've been doing lately. This is the blue mic in the SM58 battle. And I'm curious, you let me know which one you guys think now that you've heard them both, which one is the real deal, the blue mic or the white mic in the SM58 battle. And now on to the reveal. In the white capsule, the white mod, it happened to be da -da -da -da, the clone. Let me know in the comments down below if you're surprised by this. The blue microphone was the Shure SM58 and the white microphone was the clone. Uh, my initial thought, I thought that the clone was a little more sharp, a little more active, a little more harsh. I just thought the SM58 was so smooth and so soothing to the ears. It was pleasant to hear. It was pleasant for the listener. Great for vocals. Great for spoken word. The clone was a little more hot. It was, I mean, right out of the gate, I had to bring the gain down because it just, it seemed very hyper. But you can EQ that out. If you actually like the clone better, let me know. And now we're on to the blind test of the SM57, the clone versus the real deal. Here we go, microphone blue. And moving forward with all the mics that we're going to do, this is where I've got everything set in my audio interface. My limiter is on for all of these. My low cut filter is going to be on for all of these. My compression and my de is on for all of these. They're all going to be at the exact same setting. I've got my compressor, my de -esser, my compression and my de are set at like two to one. And as far as tone, my EQing, high, mids, and lows, my EQ is turned on, but I haven't adjusted the high, mids, and lows for this mic, nor will I for any of the other mics to follow. It's just turned on. And just to kind of give you an idea of how that affects the sound, where this is with the tone on, and this is with the tone off. So again, I'm not adjusting high, mids, and lows. I'm just turning my EQ button on. And this is what it sounds like. It's back on. So these settings are what I'm going to go with for every mic moving forward to kind of put its best foot forward, make it sound as best as I think I can evenly throughout all of these comparisons. So here we go. Microphone blue of the SM57 battle. Real or clone? Here we go. Moving on to microphone white in the SM57 battle. 
Okay, so now I am on the white microphone in the SM57 battle, and here you go. This is what it sounds like. Same settings as the blue mic. This is microphone white and microphone blue in the SM57 battle. Let me know in the comments down below what you think right now the difference is. Which one's the real one? Which one's the clone? Which one sounds better? May surprise you. I'm not even sure. We're going to take a look at the end of this video, and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on these comparisons. So there you go. Microphone white, microphone blue, SM57. Which one do you think is better, and which one do you think is the clone? Okay, so now on to the reveal for the SM57, and in the white mic, it was da, 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 the real SM57. I don't think that was much of a surprise. Just kind of going back and listening to it and, and taking my notes, the SM57 was very aggressive, I think, in the highs. I almost felt like there was a noise and an echo and a, I don't know, just like an electric sound that was vibrating. There's a vibration in that high end with the 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 way mic 50 WM57, whatever it is. And the SM57 was just, again, such a powerful presence and spoken word and Again, you can't go wrong with the SM57. I know it's $99, but I would not even bother with the clone. If you're trying to get that SM57 sound, the clone's not going to get it. It's To me, there's too big of a gap between where the SM57 is at and where the clone is at. I think I'd have a lot less work to do with the SM58 clone than I would the SM57 clone, which is actually what I'm talking on right now. And the reason why I'm doing that is I've added some serious EQ to this, and I've been messing with this all day. I cannot, no matter for the life of me, get a mix that hits my ears okay. So if you like to record videos in spoken word, you will like to record you singing, you would like to record instruments and all that stuff, the SM57 is the one mic that does everything supremely well. It is the one mic that you will ever need to have all three. There are other mics that you may want more, but there's no mic that you'll ever need more than the SM57 if you're trying to cover all three of those bases. The SM57 is such a wonderful, perfect mic. It's designed to do everything and do it well. And to me, because it is so good, I just don't see how whatever they did to make this $15, they cut out a lot of what makes the SM57 so amazing. All right, so now on to the Zerzerema Z. Moving on. Okay, so what you're listening to now is the Lewitt LCT240 Pro, a condenser microphone. It is my absolute number one favorite microphone of all time as far as just audio quality for spoken word. Absolutely amazing, so crisp, so clear. And right now on my audio interface, I don't have anything, or I've got it mixed right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my mixing off so it's a fair comparison because it's a condenser microphone, because it's a little more lively and it picks up a lot more of the environment. I have my preamp turned down to, I would say 40%. I'd say 40% on my preamp dial. And right now I have the limiter and the low cut filter turned on, same as the other ones. As far as tone and mixing, turned off. And this is what it sounds like. Now let's switch over to the the Zimmer, the Zimmer, now we're on to the Zimmer Schnauz Sniffle 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 Sniffle, the Zremo 104 clone of the Neumann KM105. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm on the Zremo 104, a condenser microphone spoken word, and it was really hot out of the box in the default settings. When I went in, I had to turn my preamp down to 10%. 10% just to get that. And as I'm looking at my levels on OBS, I am on the higher end of the yellow, just tapping into the red. So even then, I can't have this two to four inches away from my mouth when speaking. I'm going to have to keep this thing, I would say, about six inches away, and that gets it back to that comfortable level. This is really sensitive. Like, you can hear me tapping on the desk, and... I just, I feel like this is really hyper. If, if, if there ever was a mic that I could call hyper, really excited, need to calm down, I feel like this microphone needs to calm down. And in my headphones, it doesn't sound too bad. So I'm curious to see what it sounds like in post-processing. In my headphones, it doesn't sound bad. It sounds okay. I, I don't, it's not screaming, oh my gosh, what are you doing? For $15.99, I think you're getting more than what you pay for. I, I'd say this feels more like a 20 to 30 maybe $40 microphone. 
I'd be okay. If I spent $50 or more on this kind of microphone, might be a little nervous. I'm going to mount this to a mic stand and a shock mount and a pop filter and see what it sounds like mixed. Okay, so now I have the Zremo 104. I have it in a shock mount with the pop filter in front of it, mounted on the desk to keep it stable. And I'm tapping on the desk. Moving my mouse around so to see how much that comes through in the audio. And just kind of putting my, if you're in a podcast and you're constantly putting your elbows on the table, taking them off, putting your hands down, leaning on the table. This is how much of that is coming through the microphone. So as far as my mixing now, I've got my tone on and I've added a lot of bass to kind of fill it out. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Let's add some more low end. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. The Zremo 104 condenser microphone, the clone of the Neumann KM105 $729. Okay, so now we are on the Shure MV7, and the reason I'm going with this right now is I just wanted to share with you the audio of a $250 microphone that seems to be all the rage for all the podcasters out there. Uh, you go on TikTok or YouTube, everybody has a Shure MV7 now, and that's what they're using, $250, and this is the sound that comes with a $250 microphone, and that's a lot of money, especially when you're just trying to start a podcast. A lot of people don't realize just how much work goes into making a video on your own, and then they burn out, and they're done. So I always warn someone who wants to get into podcasting or broadcasting or live streaming, Man, don't dump all that money in there just yet. Hold off. You don't want to fork over a lot of money. And then when you decide, I like this. This is me, man. I'm loving it. You, you want to spend all your time doing it. You're not getting burnt out. You're excited about it. Now give yourself something to work for. Okay, this first year, I'm going to worry about my content creation. I'm going to make some videos. And then after, I'm going to save up some money over time. And then give yourself like a treat. Once I get to 50 videos on my YouTube channel, I'm going to go get my Shure MV7. And then once I get to 100 videos, if you have it in your budget, then you say, okay, then I'm going to go ahead and get that SM7B. You're not getting it because you need that audio. You're getting it for yourself. You're getting it because that's what you want. That's your toy. That's your guilty pleasure. But people are not going to tune in and listen to you based on whether or not you have a $700 microphone, a $400 microphone, a $300 microphone. I started this channel three months ago. I have 400 subscribers. I get about 100 subscribers a month at this rate. I have a video that has 20,000 views. And in that, I, I was using uh, uh, a microphone that cost me less than 100 bucks. So there you go. Okay. All right, so here we go. My final thoughts. We have the clone of the SM58, the Imp 600 SM58, and the, what is it? The Waymike WM57, which again are the clones of these two guys right here, the Shore SM57 and the Shore SM58. Tried and true, can't go wrong. If you get these microphones, people are gonna love your sound. It's gonna be simple, it's gonna be smooth, and it's gonna be easy on the ears of people who are trying to listen if you don't know how to EQ. You can do amazing things if you do know how to EQ, but if you don't, you get these guys, plug them in, and you're gonna be golden. Then we had the Zremo Zimmerzim Zimmel Zimmel Zaksha, the Zremo 104, which was a clone of the Neumann mic. I forgot the initials of it already, but a $720 microphone for $16. Uh, my initial thoughts, just as I was sitting downstairs, wanted to walk away, just kind of marinate on all this and, and what this video was about and the, the clone of the WN57 on its own. Just putting it in first and listening to it, I was like, wow, that's pretty good. But then when I compared it to the Shore SM57, it was just by far and away a drastic difference in sound. And I, no matter how many times I tried to EQ it in different ways, of, you know, in processing and EQing, and I just could never get a sound that I was comfortable with. And I tried for about maybe 20 minutes of just messing with my EQ and, you know, in the four bands, and I tried everything, and I just, I couldn't get anywhere that I was happy with it. I just felt like it was still harsh. I felt like there was something wrong with it. As I'm listening to it, I couldn't focus on what was being said. I was focusing on that sound. It was that pitch, that noise, that I don't know what it was, but it was in those highs and the high mids, and it just, it bothered me, and it just, it was just hitting wrong. The Shure SM57, just amazing microphone, and I, I, I just, I, it's hard to duplicate that, and I don't see how it was going to happen at $16. The Shure SM58 clone, I was kind of impressed with. I thought, wow, this is pretty close. It's not there. You could do something with it. It's workable. 
And then my thoughts on the Z, the, uh, the Z, Z, the Zrema 104, just out of the box, this thing was a pistol. I felt like this thing was just like the Tasmanian devil. It was just, it was hyper. It was super aggressive, very unpleasant. I thought to the ears as I was listening to it. But when I went in there and started EQing it and compression, I was really impressed with the sound that came out of this. Now I'm not saying it is a $729 sound by no means. No, I'm just saying of the three mics here, if there was one that I would say, which one could I buy that I could get to sound good with a little bit of fine tuning on my part? It was the Zremo 104, which I thought would have been the hardest one to deal with, but I thought after mixing and EQing, it was the one that sounded the best after messing with it than the other two. So of the three clones that we reviewed today, I say that the Zremo 104 was the best of the three, in my opinion. I'm curious to see what your opinion is down in the comments down below, but this was the one that I enjoyed the sound the most. Now, was it amazing? Absolutely not. But having said all that, you've been listening to me in this final segment on the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice, which is a $19.99 microphone by Behringer. And to me, for budget, if you're worried about finding a mic under $20, I wouldn't get any of these clones over this. To me, this is such an anomaly. This is such a unicorn. This is such a mystery. It's it's impossible to get this kind of sound out of a microphone that is under $20. To me, this sounds like it belongs up there with the Shure SM57 and the SM58. It's missing some low end but you can mix that in and get a pleasurable sound. The way I have this microphone set right now is exactly the same as every microphone we've tested in this review. And it just blows me away how good it sounds at the bare basics and the bare bones. And if anything happens to it, if it breaks, if it gets lost, it's 20 bucks to replace. You gotta be kidding me. There you go. I tried the clones. I saw them. We plugged them in. We gave them a test run. One or two. Eh. One, no way, absolutely not. Don't try it. It's, you're going to lose your hair trying to figure out a good sound. It's just there's something in it that you can't get out of it. It's beyond my skills EQing, and my EQing skills are not anything to brag about. Attack of the Clones. Was there a third one? I thought there was a third one. There was a third one. It's... Uh... <laughs> Uh, after you do as many mic reviews as I've been doing the last couple of weeks and all the initials are in your head, after a while you forget how to tie your shoes, ride a bike, how to th how to cast your line for fishing, and where you just put a microphone 10 seconds ago. So Attack of the Clones. This one? No. These two? Eh, maybe. I'll set this one down. But if I had to work with one, I'd work with this one. But if I had to choose a microphone for under $20, it would be this one every day of the week and twice on sunday and not just because it's under twenty dollars because it's a great microphone period every person who does a live stream should have one of these and just in case during this video you actually liked one of those models of the clones microphones and you liked the sound and it was something for you i'm going to include the link for all these microphones in the description down below just fair warning if you order a way mic you might get an m600 if you order a zremo uh, WM57, you might get the Wayland, or what is it, the Way mic. I throw that microphone? I did throw that microphone. Anyways, it was $16. Who cares? But we tried it. I was curious. Someone recommended it. Pete my curiosity. How cheap can they get and how good can a really cheap microphone be? Would I recommend them? You can get one. Just don't expect them to last, especially when you throw them over your shoulder. Maybe. I don't know. Probably something to think about. Okay. All right. So those are my thoughts. Attack of the Clones. Hope you enjoyed this video. I've got nothing. I'm baked. This, this was just, just trying to EQ these microphones fried my brain. Okay, so there you go. This was the video of Attack of the Clones. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video. I appreciate you. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you thought it sucked. Either way, YouTube loves the feedback, so I appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and the notification bell to support this channel. And hey, man, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. That's my goal by the end of the year. So, hey, man, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. I would appreciate your help getting there. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time to spend some time with me because I, I really enjoy spending some time with you guys. Make my day. I look forward to this time together. Me and you hanging out, chilling, bros and sisters, 
and bros and sisters and you know anyways i'm done talking i'm out of words bye oh wait i forgot peace out